When SARS first appeared, we knew nothing. So I think the most important lesson is that, you know, we should have the capability to rapidly identify the etiological or the causative agent, yeah, the, the virus which kills. If something like as deadly as SARS is going to happen again, I think it most likely it will come from wildlife because that's the place we know the least. Wildlife carries a lot of viruses, but we know almost nothing. And so to us, it's totally unknown. And when this virus jump across species to humans, they are usually deadly. Recently, we published a high impact paper in science, and we described the co-evolution of bats' ability to fly and its sort of a very effective immune system. And that's a very important discovery because it will have direct consequences, you know, in our understanding of disease. So I think there will be two impacts in human health in long term. One is that once we understand why bats carry so many viruses without causing disease, we may be able to better prepare ourselves for the next, you know, major outbreak like SARS. So that's one area. And the secondly is that if we understand how bats can control viral infection, and we humans, if we can learn from bats, and then I think even if they jump into human, maybe we'll be uh, better able to treat infections. So really there's two potential applications to human medicine. In terms of how we can better prepare ourselves for the next major outbreak like SARS, I think we should do at least three areas I think is important. One is collaboration. Without any doubt, I think, you know, SARS initially was really bad, but I think we did pretty good in the later phase is because internationally there was a huge collaboration and multidiscipline. And I think within Singapore, you know, I'm here now and I really like to work with uh, different uh, clinicians and in different areas so that we can be better prepared. So number one is collaboration. And number two is a multidisciplinary approach. And now internationally, there's a very sort of popular uh, uh, approach is called One Health. Although the, eventually that uh, what we are worried about is the human health, but most of us, as I said, come from wildlife. So to better prepare ourselves, we have to work with veterinarians and animal health scientists so that we can work as one team, one health approach, and that's the most effective. The third area is capacity building. As I said, you know, the most important lesson we learned from SARS is rapid identification of the pathogen which is causing the disease. But that kind of capacity has to be built, what I call peacetime, before the outbreak comes. So you have to really do capacity building during peacetime, and then during outbreak time, we call it wartime, and we can fight a better sort of battle and win the war.